<laughs> Welcome back. You're still watching European Closing Hell. I'm Louise the Boys, and look, Halloween's in full swing. We've decided to delve into the supernatural for a little investment inspiration. It's also Friday. Numerologists, they believe that everyday numbers, they can offer insight into the future and that they can predict how financial markets will perform. We caught up with numerologist Sweta Jumani to see what the numbers can tell us about the coming year. This year also has been very uh, not so predictable. Things have not been really very good for people, not bad, because this is equal to seven. Seven is a number which is a very mental number. So it's not a physical strong number. The next year which is coming, that is 2015. How do you know the number? We add it all up, two plus one plus five, totals to eight. Now, according to numerology, there are only nine numbers we all know, even 27 is equal to nine. So there are totally nine numbers and nine planets. So we all people, you, me, everybody is falls under one number, like my birthday is 29. So two plus nine is a two again. So that is how we know the number. I'm a number two. What's your birth date? Don't tell me the year. 13. 13. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So like that, we have uh, every number. So even if you were born on 22nd, you would still be a number 4. So next year that is coming is equal to 2015 is equal to 8. Now 8 is the number of Saturn. And you know how bad Saturn is? No. Yes. So unfortunately, it is not a very good year for most of the world. But there is some good things also. So, so how do you how do you divide it then? I mean, when you say it's not going to be a good year for most of the world, yeah. is that in term when we look at markets? If we just take it from kind of a, a business or geopolitical angle, are there certain certain things that you think will happen? Yes. First of all, the markets are not going to hit the bullseye. They are not going to grow very much. Your investments, especially in uh, this trading, your bull market is not going to be that great where you should actually put your money next year is mining, ores, property, petrol, land. In short, everything coming out from Mother Earth. So even water should be good because Earth and water are always together. So your investment should not be in the share market or the trade market, you know. Any, it's not going to, it's going to be very risky. It's not going to have real good height. Now UK, if you just say, say, take it as UK, totals to eight, that's what we are called here. You, we call it UK, we got, you don't keep on saying United Kingdom, so it's UK, or England, that also is equal to four. London is equal to four. Why, so, why four? Because every alphabet has a number. For you, only numbers are numbers. For us, the alphabets are also numbers. A has a value, two, B has a value, C has a value, Z has a value. So every alphabet denotes a number. So when I calculate UK, it comes to again eight. So since the year is eight, UK has a good chance of having a good steep, good prospects because it is its own number. India, after the 15th of August next year, will enter its 69th year of independence. Now six is one of the most beautiful and luckiest number. So for India, after 15th of August next year is going to be great.